Hello there, everybody, and welcome back. We are checking things out since we have the dream nail. Void power without unity. Uh, just going through the world, checking out things that I've missed and seeing what other stuff can be revealed through it. Let's see, is must here. Isma's hideout. Ogrim, there's no time. I have no idea who that is. Well, on to the next one? Sure. There's this dude that I just went past. Pale worm, what good to foresee a demise unavoidable. Guess the king knew what was coming. Now this guy, he's probably the most, uh, a mask of face, yeah, yeah. He's just very, very conspicuous, but you can't really, does it know of the face that hides beneath? We've heard, heard this one before, I think. There must be more to him. What the? <laughs> Has it witnessed the truth most tragic? The worm's great shame sealed away. Now this kingdom stasis becomes the worm's legacy. Does he have translucent eyelids? <laughs> most unsettling. I see another takes mantle of king. Then grim responsibility I shall bestow. No buggers ever laid claim to this hole. Even the beasts knew their limits and bound their realm at nest's edge. What's that? It is the ancient caste that made attempt at va such vast rule. Hadonus' ruin reflects well those ferret attempts. So the new rule is bound to fail? I don't know, dude. It sees the face beneath, or could it just be another mask? Truth in Hellenus is always buried deep. How many layers will it pry through? I get it. <laughs> Meta to the point of telling me that I'm pretty close here. To change a face, to conceal it fully within another. A powerful protection, that is, but one with sad consequence. The original mind is destroyed, though those of striking will may re still retain a sliver of that concealed self. You talking about my mask? Face I grant to all would request, not ask for I, but aid give to a well deserving. At this point, you might as well just talk gibberish to me. Okay. Interesting. You know, this guy is, he has his own room. There's just too much effort put in for him to just be a guy that's there for, uh, for flavor alone, you know? <laughs> he gets a different fat mask each time. Let's see. Kalamado. Kalamado. That's pretty damn cool. Okay. Let's see what the ancient uh, dude Bardoon has to say. When I dream at him. One prefers its mind not be pride. It's rather unsettling. Well then. Okay, so here's another thing that I never figured out what that actually is. He's sort of... Stronger Brothers. Reminds me of... The... Uh, the Grim Troop. I was going to say Crimson Court. But... Hmm. Let's follow the path. Maybe I missed something. But there's so many of these freaking places here that, uh, like, just very obviously places where you you're supposed to go later on or something, or 
I'm supposed to meet somebody or whatever. But it might just be this path. Because I, I do remember we had to break it open. But there was nothing. That's why I'm like curious about it. There's nothing else here. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you. Are you kidding me? I have no words. Motherfucker. Holy shit. <laughs> My god. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind here. Just heal. Man. I mean, it doesn't help that I don't have any combat charms equipped. What? Okay. Sure. More things to jump through and I don't have any juice left. Interesting. Whenever there was like another entrance like this, there used to be something at least significant there. In either case, uh, I've been wondering about the the uh, end of the game or how I might be able. There's another path. Okay. Thank you. Um, and it keeps going. Because there's different endings, obviously, and uh, I've been thinking about, you know, how I might be able to tell which one is which. So I went back and rewatched uh, the episodes where I talked to either Hornet or the White Lady, aka the Queen of Hollowness, which both that <laughs> he jumped down there, really. Ugh. Um. Not mean to do that. There we go. <laughs> Keeps going. Um, so both their, um, both their dialogues, or some of their dialogues, are hidden. Like one, you have to get. Actually, you don't have to get Hornet without with with the shake cloak, do you? But with the. Uh, you need to have the shake cloak in order to get access to the white lady. So I don't know who to trust because I think they're at odds with each other. She actually, the, the white lady, uh, talks about Hornet. And I think at the end it's going to come down to whether, <laughs> God damn it, whether I'm going to trust uh, the one or the other. Because Hornet, she wants change. Hornet wants things to not go back to how they used to be. Whereas the White Lady, I believe... Well, just slide you to the left. Okay. Are we in Ancient Basin already? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, Ancient Basin has always been, you know, something related to the old creatures that... The, the old kingdom of Hollowness or whatever. Thank you for that. <clears throat> so it seems like... Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Is this? It looks like an, a giant ancient egg. And it gives Geo. What the hell? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Guess I'll take those. Oh shit. Uh, those platforms make me think maybe I was supposed to, you know, charge on top of it or something. I don't know, dude. 
This is quite the mystery. Anyway, I uh, I do believe the queen wants me to do the equivalent of the, I don't know, Link the Fire ending. Just want to make absolutely sure I'm not missing anything. And Hornet wants me to do something else. Who knows what? Well, let's uh, let's fast forward again, <laughs> shall we? Oh, by the way, uh, I said in an early episode that you can uh, never get another delicate flower. That's not true. You can get new delicate flowers from this grave. Now, I'm not gonna use it to take it to anybody because I really don't need to do that right now, but I think it's an interesting thing of note. You've been good, Trader's Child. Anyway, the real reason I wanted to uh, go to this area, first of all, is to just find some new things to maybe discover, maybe something I've missed, but also to read the white lady's mind. Look at her. The tendrils sprawling out of her. I haven't made up, made up my mind yet about her. Do I seem prisoner here? If so, it's not by any choice but my own. These bindings about me, I have chosen to erect. There is some shame I feel from my own part in the deed, and this method guarantees its cease. I still feel that urge, you see. I always will. A voracious desire to spread seeds upon the land, to propagate myself, to breed. Prepare well, but don't dally. Were the vessel to break prematurely, that plague would unleash with rage and power built of ages chained. But hasn't it already been unleashed? <laughs> okay. So it can access a mind, then the seal shall break before its blade. Huh. She's confident in us, I guess. Anything else? Hmm. It's Quirrell. Again we meet, my short friend. Here at last I feel at peace. Twice I've seen this world, and though my service may have stripped the first experience from me, I'm thankful I could witness its beauty again. Hollowness is a vast and wondrous thing, but with as many wonders as it holds, I've seen none quite so intriguing as you. Ha, my flattery returns only silent stoicism. I like that. I like that very much. Incredible. I think Quirrell has some feelings for the night. Just saying. <sighs> How nice. Got any stories to tell, Quirrell? Oh no, yeah, you're in a music, I forgot. There's nothing gonna happen, really. <laughs> We're just sitting and staring and sharing a moment. Well then, have a good one. To live an age yet to remember so little, perhaps I should be thankful. All tragedy erased, I see only wonders. Sure. You do your thing, Quirrell. You're a good dude. Well now, um, I think I've gone through everything in terms of all the sort of monuments I saw that never really amounted to anything. But there's also this one boss fight that we forgot about. <laughs> I really just forgot about it. But I'm sure it's gonna... Oh. 
I guess I might as well show this. On the way here, I killed enough light seeds. Strange air has been seeping down from above for years. Some of the air became a liquid, and some of that liquid became flesh, and some of that flesh came to life. I don't know what to make of it. That's the light seeds. Hmm, seeping from above. Well, either way, uh, this is my charm loadout. I'm gonna go fight the failed champion. But that line seeping from above is interesting. We'll talk about that some more later, I think. All right, uh, I remember this guy being really, really hard. That, uh, like, so hard, in fact, that I was like, okay, I have to come back to this uh, when I'm stronger, because my god. He deals double damage, he pretty much makes the entire arena a complete, see? And a total and utter uh, death zone. <laughs> no. No, he's not gonna let me. Shit. Ugh. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much what I remember from this fight. Um. The other thing, and maybe that's the most diabolical, is that when you hit him, he doesn't give you any soul back. Which is quite annoying. Let's see. Maybe... This looks good. Hey! Alrighty! Damage racing him and... Okay. Never mind. Except when it works. <laughs> yeah, we were at an advantage the last time because I went here. <laughs> Fuck. Just get away from that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we were at full fo soul meter because I went here from a uh, from a um, grotto, whatever they're called. But it doesn't ref refill when you uh, fight him again. Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's try that again. It's always kind of annoying. Round three. Damn it. At least only his physical attacks do two damage. Come on. There we go. Very nice. Occasionally shoot some stuff over to him. Okay then. This is too easy. <laughs> Oops. I think Shade Cloak makes this a lot easier than it otherwise would be. Ah, oh, he's bashing. He's going around bashing. Fuck! No! no! to heal on the platform. Damn it. But yo, he, he's not that hard. Not as hard as I remember. I guess, I mean, fragile strength is probably what helps me out the most here. Come on down. Fuck. That's the wrong way. Oh, easy there, partner. No, get out. Fuck. 
You won't get this. Never. <laughs> yeah, if you don't remember or if you haven't... If this is your first episode for whatever reason, this is the first boss you fight in the game that has like a way harder deep dream version for some reason or another. Okay. No. <laughs> I... Okay, co cool it, cool it. Oh, that's it! <laughs> I don't know. Somehow I thought this had another phase to it or something. Well now. I wanted it, the strength to protect others. When I saw that knight sleeping, safe in his big armored shell, it wasn't madness that drove me to it, I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? Hmm. Something else? Something else entirely. Well, uh, I know for a fact that at 2400 souls we can go back to the Seer and get some new stuff. I just don't know exactly what it is. There's a few more random things that I wanted to check out. I just I wasn't on my way so far, but I think we're going to end the episode with the Seer. Yeah. Let's do that. Except, here's another, yet another diversion. Look at this. We've been here before. I think twice, at least. Wait, child, why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage, ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yes, even the wild bugs lurking below. They were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. I think he has the wrong idea, but we're gonna fight him either way. Yeah, um... Okay, um... I'm not necessarily decked out to fight him, but... Alright. He's killing us with money or something? With bracelets? I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, we went here twice, and twice in a row, there was nothing to do. Uh, we were just wondering about the Elder. And now we know who the Elder is they're referring to. And now that don't jump, and just as soon as I jump, I had to say it, of course. But as, jump as little as you, as you possibly can. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of messing me up that I can't really look at him. I have to keep... Damn it. Keep looking at... Basically the whole arena. But I don't see a way we could lose this. Other than him... I don't know. Turning into something completely different. In another phase, you know. Oh boy, ouch. One elder. Might as well heal. Okay then. <laughs> Not too tough. My mind, it clears. Have we been sleeping, child? 
Ah, I remember. Those proud lords, were they truly monstrous? I remember their eyes now, bright and clear. Why then did I fear them so? If there was madness in that village, it was I who brought it. They were right to cast me out. When I attacked, they were right to... They were right to kill. To kill me? Ah. <laughs> well, at least now you know. Okay, that's another 100. We remember the Elder, yeah. So... There's not too much left. Elder Who, lingering dream of a fallen warrior, tra traveled the world tending to those affected by the plague. Never forget what once was lost, yet do not let it tie you down. Elder Who. All right, we're back in uh, the resting grounds. Let's see. I know for a fact it's not an item, but there's going to be something that happens at 2400. Ah, Wilda, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream now. So much essence, so bright. You truly are the Wilda my tribe so long has dreamed of. The folk of my tribe were born from a light. Light similar to essence. Similar to that powerful blade, though much brighter still. They were content to bask in that light and honor it for a time. But another light appeared in our world. A worm that took the form of a king. How fickle my ancestors must have been. They forsook the light that spawned them, turned their backs to it, forgot it even. And so this kingdom was born from that betrayal. But the memories of that ancient light still lingered. Hush whispers of faith. Until all of Halodas began to dream of that forgotten light. Is he talking about the infection? Ah, but what's done is done. And so am I. The wielder has at last appeared and have held the memories of my tribe for long enough. It is time for us to be forgotten too. Don't remember us, wielder. Don't honor us. You do not deserve it. Ah, I'm sorry. Light. Radiance. I remember you. And just like that, she's gone. Well, interesting. If the light is... And that's just, I don't know, like... She says now the kingdom is... Okay, she doesn't say anything else. I was thinking maybe we'll find her grave in here or something. Where did I leave that ghost? Uh, that's strange. Um, yeah. By the way, all this here, uh, these are monuments to the Kickstarter backers. I think, I mean, uh, there must have been a tier where if you donated enough to the Kickstarter, you would get the, your own uh, personal design for a for a an ancient bug or something into the game which is pretty damn cool by the way i don't know if i uh, don't know if i noticed that or thought to tell you that last time we went here there's that thing here yeah that one line though like now we're remembering the old the... have we seen this before Yeah, I think we did, actually. <laughs> but there's nothing new, unfortunately. Although, you know, this is the seer. The moth thing we've been talking to. Like, it just looks different in a... Looking at it from the side, the silhouette is different. Um, yeah, but she says they're remembering what it was like before. Like, maybe she... Maybe her tribe is a connecting piece of the puzzle between the old world and the new or something like that. And maybe 
the infection existed beforehand, you know? But in either case, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.